Well, welcome back. A little, little something different today. Uh, I've got a uh, Grasshopper Zero Turn mower. It's got an engine that's uh, started pushing oil out of everywhere just about uh, end of last year. Thought it was a head gasket, replaced the head gasket on the one side, um, checked the PCV breather in it, uh, everything was good. I replaced the breather actually, and uh, it's still pushing oil out everywhere. It's a pretty old motor. Uh, it's got a lot of hours on it, uh, and I believe it probably needs heads. Uh, but for the cost of the heads, I'm going to put another engine in it, basically. And I may eventually rebuild this one, but for now, we're just going to pull this one out, put a, put a replacement in there, and uh, see how that works. All right, so we're just going to take uh, some things off of here, <clears throat> disconnect the battery. Uh, i got a ground on this side that's got to come out, got to be undone off the block. Oil sender low pressure oil sender unit, unplug that, um, one to our belts, one to the <coughs> drive, and then we'll, a uh, couple wires on this side, one to the coil, one up to the carburetor, pull them off, and just unbolt the base of it, we should be able to pull it out of here, hopefully it doesn't take that long, we'll see. <coughs> much of a mess. You can see all the oil being pushed up through the crankcase up into here. Uh, just filling it up. Two, two base bolts on this side are nuts that have to come off. Uh, and they pretty much the same on this side and a couple other. The ground wires are on this side. Uh, <clears throat> starter, uh, positive to the starter, that's got to come off. So we'll just start pulling that stuff off. There's not much really to see. It's not, uh, not that exciting to tell you the truth. Disconnected. Uh, just gotta be careful when I pick it up. I think I have clearance there. Just leave it alone. Got the four bolts holding it into the bottom undone. Wiring, I think everything. Belts. I gotta, I gotta take my belts off, which is a spring loaded on this side. Uh, you can't see anything, but there's. It's just spring loaded. I push it in. Take my belts off here. Should be able to lift this out now. Let's see. Yeah, I'd say it's loose. Not that heavy. Maybe 100 pounds, maybe a little less. But I'm going to put it on the, the lift to pick it out just easier for myself. I'm going to undo my, uh, uh, undo my line too. Let me undo that. My fuel line.
can see all the oil just laying on the bottom of this from pushing out oil everywhere, just all over the place. So we'll fix that. Clean it up, hose it down, get it cleaned off really well. Couldn't figure out what that's sitting on. So there's two notches in the uh, PTO, electric PTO, and there's a bracket that sits, I'll try to show it to you in a little bit here, but there's a bracket and a notch has to fit over that bracket in the back. That's what I'm trying to figure out what's hung up on. It's because that isn't lined up. So let me pick it up slightly, line that up. Pull back when I do that. There it goes, now it's free. I'm get one of these notches, the notch will end up here. And then, I've got my pigtail facing the right way for the connection for the electric PTO. I've got my notch lined up on that bracket, it's gotta be on that, in that groove. I'll try to, like I said, I'll show it to you a little bit here. Figure out why. Why does it give me such a hard time? Huh? That's why. Because it wasn't lined up right. So now, should be able to slide this around. Try to center it up here. I think we're perfect. We're perfectly where we need to be here. Do something with this. Figure out how I'm going to adapt that. And whether or not I need to come forward. My pulleys. Pulleys are actually pretty close. In order for me to get this back in front right, I've got two big spacers on the uh, crankshaft ahead of the uh, electric PTO and then two thin washers. I'm going to take one or both of those spacers out. I think I need one spacer and uh, the washers, the real thin washers, in order to line this up because right now it's too far back. I'm looking at the pulley alignment between the PTO and the drive shaft. And it's got to go forward some, and I don't think I can get enough of it. I have four base bolts underneath. Got them in. Now I've got to see if I can line these pulleys up if I have enough play, or I've got to pull a spacer out. I don't know yet. Oh, come on, I know you'll move. I know there's room in there for you to move. I think I slid all the way up. I don't think that's enough, though. It's got to go a little more, and I think I'm out of, out of slotted. There's a slotted, four slotted grooves in the bottom of the base plate. You see, you have a little bit of front to back slide, but I think I'm all the way up. And I think I'm going to have to take a spacer out, is my guess. Yeah, I'm all the way up in the front. Back I have room, in the front I don't. Uh, so, I'm going to have to uh, pull them out. Here's what I have. There's two spacers and then two little washers. I think one washer I keep and one spacer. It gives me another a little over a quarter inch maybe. I think that's going to be enough for me to line everything up. I'll show you what I was talking about earlier. So you see these notches right here. One here and one here. This has to, <clears throat> this has to point to this side. So there's a bracket here that's pointing like this down there. And this has to sit in there so this thing holds this in place. I've got an adapter that I was able to get, uh, but in order for me to get at this, I gotta pull this drive shaft, which shouldn't be too hard. Actually. All right. So I need this as a template to do some measuring for the adapter, which I'll show you. But I need to get that out of the way. I believe the three bolts that hold this on the front. Of uh, crankshaft, yeah, they're 10 millimeters, so let's see if I can just do them by hand. Air gun might make it easier, but 
We'll just see if we can crack them loose by hand here. Or not. Okay. Let me get my gun. See if I can get my gun in there because this is not gonna not gonna go real well. I'm gonna have to hold hold everything so it might be easier just to hold the gun. This is made by uh, Performance 670. Performance670.com. It's a universal adapter. They don't have one specific for the grasshopper, uh, but uh, what it does is it mounts to those three bolts on the end of the crank, and then it'll mount to the other end of the drive shaft here, um, which I put that disc down. I oh, know I didn't. It's right here. So then they'll have two other bolts two others that match to that so what I'm going to do is finish taking this apart and line it up on here and I've got to mark it and I've got to drill and tap this because this is a universal so you make it fit whatever you need it to fit. Drilled and tapped holes for the adapter. I'm going to start hooking everything back up and see how we did. <clears throat> Let me bolt this on, tighten it up, then I'm going to put my cover back on before I forget otherwise I'll take it apart again and I don't really want to do that. Let me get my cover, my cover back on. Uh-oh. Gonna be a tight squeeze here. My drive shaft back together here. At least that's the plan. I'm gonna see if there's an adjustment on this. There's two set screws. Let me get these set screws out of here and see if I can move this slightly because I have room to push it this way if I need to. Steering wheel puller to the rescue. I'm just going to clean this up really good. I should be able to slide this on. I believe I can slide this on further. I know it was sticking out, so I'll give me more play this way. So I can adjust here. I'm going to push it back as far as I can here. Even with the shaft. Even with the end of the shaft. We test fit this all back together here. And see what we end up with. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to go through some of the things I had to do. Obviously, I put my ground, my negative back to my block down there. I've got my uh, positive battery cable over to the starter. I was able to move that collar on the drive shaft and move it forward and get as much room as I possibly could. It gave me just enough room here to get my adapter and get the uh, spacers in there. You can see the one in blue at the top. Uh, get that hooked up. Get that squared away. Uh, I've got a new... Throttle cable, new choke cable. The only thing I haven't moved yet is the switch, which is right down there. It comes to the motor because I just don't want to move it yet. I will move it up to the front, so it's up front, but for now it's fine. Uh, hook my fuel line up. Filled it with oil. Got to put oil in it. Uh, I still have to cut this, cut that off, but that's just extra. Got that all squared away. Well, this light's going to work out, but uh, a couple other things I'd do. 
got my tensioner hooked up to my uh, belt and uh, my PTO. That all hooked back up electrically. Uh, let's give this thing a. Let's see what it does here. There we go. A little more, a little more fuel. Come on. I think it needs a little more choke here. I don't have my panel hooked back up yet. That's a pretty good start. That's it for the installation of the uh, 22 horse Predator 670 motor on this uh, Grasshopper 718. Been running it for probably a month. It's cutting season now. It's just grass is growing pretty quick and it's been running really well. Um, the only thing I haven't done is move the actual switch, the start switch uh, from the one that's on the motor up to the front. Um, so I'll have to run that but that's no big deal. Uh, just use the one that's set up on the, that came with the motor until I get a chance to run it up front. Uh, where the other old switch is. PTO is still running off the old switch and I'll leave it there because that's where it needs to be. Uh, but this is just something a little different. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the videos, subscribe below. Thanks for watching.